Hey everyone, Brian Neff here with Stop Being Sold. Hope everyone's having a great day today. In today's video, this is pretty exciting. I want to show you guys how to do research an NFT project on OpenSea, because, you know, we've had a lot of questions come in with the other videos that we've done on NFTs, and we're going to drop some of them below this uh, video down here in the description, some of our most popular NFT videos. But how to do research, you know, I, I mean, how do I look to see if a project is good? What do I need to know about it? Where do I need to go? Because they're all confusing. So today's video is going to cover that in greater detail. And if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button, folks, and uh, join us here on Stop Being Sold for future videos. So let's get started. Let's jump right in. I'm sharing my screen right now with OpenSea, which is the biggest NFT marketplace out there today. And I pulled up a very well-known NFT project. That way it had a lot more options in there. So um, with this, this project's been around for a while and it's called Gutter Cat Gang by Gutter Labs. What we're going to see here is many things to look for in NFT projects that hopefully you're not seeing a rug pull out there uh, to where you're actually going to lose money on it. So, so let's take a look here. Uh, in OpenSea, one place I'd like to go in OpenSea is under the stats and then look under the rankings. Now, if I look at the rankings, Gutter Cat Gag's been in the rankings for months now. So it's it's a well-known project. And it's you know, if you take a look here, it says Gutter Cat Gang, welcome to the gutter. There's there's always a little description that the artist can put about the project. So you want to read the description. In this description, what does it say? You know, are there links to other stuff like the website, the collections? This one here said it's a collection of 3,000 randomly generated NFTs on the Ethereum blockchain. So that's telling you that there's a limited amount of them and they're minted on Ethereum. So instead of using Polygon or another one of the um, cryptocurrencies. Um, also underneath the collections here, there's other ones. So it's just not about the cats. It's gutter rats, gutter pigeons, gutter dogs. Uh, they also have on the left-hand side here, merchandise uh, 1.0, 2.0, or you can sell some of your merchandise. So it's pretty cool, but let's stay to the top before we get to the actual numbers down below. I want to show you some other things on this project. Um, take a look at the name, Gutter Cat Gang, and see the blue check mark. This blue check mark on OpenSea is showing you that it is a verified account, has significant interest and or sales. And there's what you look for. Every big NFT project, well, every NFT project is trying to get that blue check mark because that shows us a level of verification there. But also look at the, uh, the artist, Gutter Labs LLC. There's also a blue check mark. So they've uh, OpenSea has went and did the research on the company and says, look, this is a good one here. This is a verified account. So a verified uh, NFT project and a verified art artist out there today. So that's some of the first things you want to look for. Next, let's scroll over here. Uh, you can actually look at their contract on e uh, Etherscan right here. You can click on it. It'll pull up the actual contract. But also let's take a look at the website. You can click uh, over and take a look at their website. And look at this. Remember we said the gutter cats? Well, there's the gutter rats, the gutter pigeons, the dog, gutter dogs, um, all the different utilities that they have in the project, who the partners were. They have a blog, they have merchandise and analytics of, of the rarest ones out there. So pretty cool. Now, They've also got the links here to OpenSea. So we can click on it, go back to OpenSea, their Discord, Facebook, Twitter, all the social media channels. But we want to do everything from OpenSea. So next is, uh, besides the website, I can click on their Discord channel. Let's look and see how many uh, unique visitors there are. So members that are currently on their channel. It's 3,570 members online right now inside their Discord. Pretty active Discord. But look at this, 44,602 members. That's a lot of members. So it's a very popular project. So these are some of the things that you want to look for. Also, you probably hear that 
beeping sound? Well, when you're on their Discord channel, you're going to hear that beeping all the time. So that's notifications going out to anyone on the Discord channel. So we got the Instagram channel. We've also got Twitter. Now look at this. I'm just hovering over the Twitter up here at the top. Ownership verified. Let me click on that. Didn't we just say that OpenSea verified them? Well, guess what? Twitter verified them also. And what do they have also? Uh, blue check mark. So pretty exciting. So remember, blue check mark is a sign of authenticity, that it's a good long-term project. Doesn't mean that it's going to be profitable. It just shows that it's a verified project. So um, also here, let's scroll down here. Look at the followers. Right now, 142, almost 143,000 followers. So pretty exciting. They're pretty active in the space. They're always posting in here. So that's good to see. Now, if you click the button, you can follow them. So let's go back to OpenSea. And me, what I like to do is I like to click this and add it to a watch list. If I like something, I like it. I want to be able to follow, see what's going on with a project. You can check that box or the little star right there, and it adds it to your watch list. Now, next step. Let's go down. Now that we see there's a lot here, there's a lot of activity, the big Twitter channel, a lot of followers, a good website, a Discord channel with a lot of active members inside there. That helps you in determining if this is a project you want to get into. Now, let's scroll down a little further and look for some more tidbits. Okay, what you're always going to see on OpenSea is how many items that they have for sale. Okay, so of the gutter cats, there's 3,000 of them. And currently, there's 1,800 plus owners. That's well over 50% ownership. Actually, that's 60% ownership um, as far as different owners owning at least one. That's exciting because that means if, if you see 3,000 items and only 300 owners, you know, or 30 owners, that means somebody can control the floor price very easily by selling their whole collection out real quick. With that many owners here, past 50% is what you want to look for as a, as a, um, a better project to try to uh, follow. So uh, currently, floor price, 6.2 Ethereum. Today's price, that's about $6,700 in Ethereum to buy one. Yes, that is to buy one of them. Um, currently, they've traded a little over 23000 in volume. And you can scroll down here and look at some of the different ones in here. Uh, let's look at, um, you see the items listed. There's 3,000 of them. But let's click on activity. This is shows how active they were in the last couple hours, the last couple months. Here's, uh, they're showing a 90 day volume average price 6.33. You can see where Ethereum dropped down uh, back here in uh, middle of May, um, it was down to 3.39. Well, guess what? We're back over six. That's almost half a hundred percent return on your money there if you have bought it and sold during this time frame. So, but let's look and see, as you can see, 7.70. So these are real numbers holes. Someone two hours ago bought this one for $9,100. Four hours ago, this one was bought for $7,500. 11 hours ago, $7,100. So you can see there's some sales going in here. So it's pretty exciting. Let's go back to the items because I want to show you this here in the items section. Okay. Now, I always look for buy now of what's on sale. And I always hit low to high. So that way I can see what the lowest price one is right now. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of that. So I can go scroll through them and look for stuff like that. There's some, you know, this one's smoking. This one's got headphones. This one's got a lot of bling to it. You know, they're all a little bit different. But, um, you know, if you're looking to buy one, you can hop in here and, and choose it based on just to hit the buy now button. What I really like to do is go down here to... Look at the features. On the left-hand side, you see all the different features, backgrounds, all the different backgrounds. And I always look, look, um, all the way down to white background. There's only 193 of them. Okay, that's kind of cool. Um, let, me, uh, let me leave buy it now on, because that way we can see, as we click through these features, right now, the rarest background is white. Out of 3,000, there's 193 of them. Well, there's only 16 of them for sale. Lowest price is 6.48. 
So let's unclick that one and let's see if there's something more rare. Uh, no, let's go to earrings. Here we go. Oh, look, we have a gold cross earring. So out of 3,000 cats, gutter cats, only 24 of them have a gold cross. Let's see if the price is higher than the floor price. Yes, it is. The lowest price gold cross that you can buy, there's only four of them for sale, is 11.69 ETH. And the next one after that is 17 ETH. So we're talking 14, almost $14,000 to buy this one right now, because there's only 24 of them out of 3,000 with a gold earring, gold cross earring. And if you scroll down below under the properties of each one, you can see less than 0.8 have this trait. And that's what people look for when they buy. And take a look at this. Look at all these offers for this. Because it's for sale, there's tons of people who have been making offers on this just to see if they can get this because this guy's selling and you know sometimes if you make an offer by clicking this button here they may say you know what i'm going to accept your offer and i'm going to take it so so there's how i look for inside um OpenSea for some rare ones uh, as far as what i want to buy and this is how i do my research on OpenSea and look at all these different projects um hopefully folks uh, today's video helped you learn a few things about OpenSea, some of the things to look for in the projects, and I really hope this helps you. Make sure you subscribe to see other videos like this. If you want some more uh, questions answered on NFTs or on research and projects, hit me up below in the comments, and uh, we'll see what we can do to make you a video. Talk to you guys soon. Thanks for watching.